Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a glitter hydro dip. Um, sorry about the background noise, my cups are turning. So I'm using a Maker Flow 30 ounce pre-sanded skinny. Um, I love these cups. Um, I do sand them just a little bit, um, just to kind of knock the, the rough edges off, but I don't have to put much effort into sanding at all with these. I'm using glitter glue to apply my glitter. Um, also, I'm using Irma Gerd is what it's called. It's peachy olive. It's a, a white opalescent glitter. Um, I've already base painted um, my cup with um, white spray paint. Um, I use a flat white spray paint. So I'm just going to brush on this glitter glue. Now I know a lot of people have had issues getting good coverage with the glitter glue. Um, so what I do is I brush it all over my cup, um, get the streaks out real good, and then I brush over it again um, while I put more glue on it and then go over it like a second layer, um, if you will. Um, I feel like that helps it um, to get better coverage when I'm, uh, I guess, layering up that, that glue. So you're just going to use your Taclon brush and just brush it on all over the cup. Make sure you get the bottom really well. Um, you, you don't want to have any kind of streaks or um, kind of pulling around the end of it at all because if you do, you're going to be able to see those like lumps and streaks and bumps because of that glitter being a white um, glitter, it's going to show that. So make sure that you get it really, really smooth. Get rid of any lines that come up. So now I'm going to glitter and I always do the um, lip part of the cup first and then the very bottom part of the cup first and then I put glitter on the rest of the cup. I do this because I find that the glitter uh, glue dries really quickly um, and it does t uh, tend to dry out quicker around the um, rim of the cup and the bottom the fastest. So I'm just going to get that all glittered. And once I get all the glitter on it, um, I take my scissors, you can't see this part, but I tap the top of the cup and it makes the excess glitter come off. <clears throat> At some point, I hope to have a better videoing setup for you guys. Right now, I'm just kind of doing the best that I can with what I got. So get that all over that cup. Get good coverage. And tap, tap, tap. So you can say, see there that I've got um, really good coverage. Um, there might be just a little couple of tiny little spots that I might have missed. It's kind of hard when you put that glitter glue over a white cup um, to be able to tell. Sometimes you might miss just a little bit of a spot. So I use my brush um, to touch up that area and just go ahead and, and glitter it right then. There's like one big chunky piece of glitter that's floating around on that cup, but I do get it. So I'm going to let that dry for two hours. Um, if you need to re-glitter, you obviously will go ahead and brush over it with glitter glue again after you brush off the excess glitter. You'll um, put your um, glitter glue on there. You can also mix that glitter glue um, with one part water, two parts glue, um, and then glitter again. For this one, I did not need to do a second coat of glitter. I had good coverage, so I just brushed off the excess. And the reason you want to brush off the excess is because if you start your BT layers and you haven't done this, then there's going to be glitter moving all over it. So now I'm going to go ahead and smoosh after I have brushed off the excess. Um, some people use a rubber brayer. I've tried that. I mean, I actually prefer doing it this way. I just think it's quicker, easier, um, and you just put your parchment paper over it. You just roll the cup. Put a little bit of pressure on there because you want to make sure that you um, flatten that glitter down as good as you can. The flatter it is, the less layers you're going to need. I'm also going to um, push down on the top of it to make sure that I get the bottom mushed down pretty good. And then roll the edge there so I get that pretty flat as well. 
So as you can see, I've got good coverage. I've got it pretty flat. Um, and now it's going to be ready for your BT layers. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your BT. I like to start at the top part. I'm um, just to make sure that I that I get all the way around um, the top. I also do the same thing for the bottom. Um, and you'll just put that on there. The first coat, um, it usually takes a, a little bit more than most of them because it does kind of um, soak into that glitter a little bit. But you just want to make sure you get really good coverage of that bright tone on there. Um, anybody who's new to my channel, if you're watching this, you see me doing this with my finger. It's not epoxy. It's an epoxy alternative. It's water-based, so um, I don't need to wear gloves um, or PPE. It's completely safe for me to put on with my finger. And then I want to make sure I get it on the bottom really well. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll go back across all the way around my cup and pull off the excess onto my finger. Um, and if there's excess, then I usually take it from my finger and move it on to the next cup in line. Um, but for this one, I'm not doing more than one cup at a time. So unfortunately, I'll probably waste a little bit of it and just kind of fling it off my finger onto that orange paper there. Also want to make sure I get it good around my rim. So yep, there's your reminder. Don't forget to get off any excess. So hydro dip time after you've gotten your cup smooth. So once it's perfectly smooth, you're going to take, I use a bucket, um, a five gallon bucket, and I fill it up with water. And then um, I use cold tap water. I do not um, use hot. I don't use like, I mean, I just use regular water out of the sink. Um, I use my little sprayer from my sink and, and fill up my bucket. I'm using some red Marabou Easy Marble. I actually really like the Easy Marble. Um, it is easy to use. You just put a bunch of drops of that in there. Now I'm also using clear. Um, so you want to use clear because it will kind of break up the color so that your whole cup doesn't end up red. You want there to be clear uh, spots on your cup to show your glitter through. So you'll see there those clear spots that it makes when I drip that clear, easy marabou marble. There's Georgia. She sang hi to me. Then I'm going to take um, this little stick pin thing I have. You can use a toothpick and just kind of swirl it around a little bit. So when you put your cup in there, you're going to want to put it at an angle. Um, so I'll put the bottom part down first. You'll see that it's at an angle. It's not straight down and you turn as you put it down into the water and then swish, swish. Um, there you go. So what I'll do here is um, I'll take it outside. I'll blow all over this cup with just air. Like I blow out of my mouth and try to get off the excess water. And um, you're going to let that dry for 24 hours. Then you're going to spray it with clear spray paint to seal it, and you're going to let that off gas for 24 to 48 hours. However long it takes for you to put your um, mouth up next to it, smell it, and no longer smell it. Then you will layer um, until smooth, put on your decals, and continue to layer until that is smooth, and that's all there is to it. Super easy. Um, for this one, it was a mom of both softball baseball cup, and I hope that you like how it turned out. If you have any questions, let me know. All the information of what I used will be in the description box. You guys have a great day.